Once you've earned the Platinum Trophy and you've earned 100% completion on the game, everything the game has to offer, do you keep playing it? What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about that feeling that you get when you finish a game, once you've earned the Platinum Trophy, you've earned 100% of the game, and you get this feeling. Now what? That's right, it sort of hits you. Do you keep playing the game? Today I want to talk about something that I'm going to be calling the Post Platinum Blues. Once you finish a game and you kind of sit there and you think, well, do I keep on playing this game? Because sometimes when you earn the Platinum Trophy, you have earned 100% of the game. But other times, there's actually still some left to, to do. There's still a few things here and there. In some games, even, you could earn the Platinum Trophy after two hours and there's still an entire game left to play. And the question that I want to know from you is, do you still play? Do you keep playing? And I want to talk about why potentially a lot of us drop off. Once we earn that Platinum Trophy, we're kind of done with the game. Because being totally honest, that's definitely myself. Once I've earned the Platinum Trophy, most of the time, I'm ready to just take a step back from that game and move on to the next project. And I'm going to talk about two reasons why I think that is. Now before I give you actual reasons as to why you may suffer from the plus platinum blues, the feeling that you're ready to move on, that the game just doesn't have anything else to offer you is I think when you think about why completionists complete games and why we enjoy finishing everything to its fullest, I think it gives us that sense of purpose and reward. Personally, I'm quite a goal oriented person. I like to always be focusing on something and that's kind of how I fall into that trophy hunting completionist sort of stuff is because that I like to always be working towards something, whether or not that's collectibles or getting so many kills, getting enough trophies. And I always feel like when I'm playing a game, although I do enjoy and I love gaming to its fullest and it's my favorite hobby of all time, but I also like to, to work towards something, and I feel like that's kind of the, the void that trophy hunting has provided for me. It's allowed me to play the games that I love, but also feel like I'm working to something bigger than just the game. And I think that's far, why, for a lot of people, we love trophy hunting so much. So why do we drop off, then, when we earn the Platinum Trophy? I think it falls under two of those things I've just mentioned. Firstly, the reward is kind of gone. So when you're playing, you've got to play just for the enjoyment of the time. You're just playing for the timeless enjoyment in the moment, nothing more, nothing less. You can get no more greater reward from playing the game anymore because you've achieved everything that there is to achieve and I think that for me can make me unmotivated to play a lot more games because you know I always want to be inspiring to do something and I think you just aren't getting your reward anymore. It is worth saying as well of course I'm only talking about a specific type of person. Some people are happy to play games endlessly as more in more of a casual form and just enjoy the game and when they're, when they're finished with playing that game they're finished and they put it aside. Obviously this video isn't orientated around those type of people because those people aren't watching this video wondering why they can't play a game after they've earned the Platinum. I'm talking about a very specific type of person, probably you a completionist, or probably you in some way, shape or form. There's games you've definitely played which you have earned 100% and then st stepped away, you have not earned 100% and said that was enough, I don't want to keep playing. But most people who when they get to the 100%, if they've been determined enough to earn that Platinum trophy or that 100%, you probably find a steep decline in your attention to that game after it. Okay, the next one, which I think I can go into a lot more detail, is in fact the purpose of playing the game is kind of gone. Video games are great, and one of the things they do exceptionally well is they set clear goals. And you know, compared to real life where people give you vague goals for your whole life, like buy a house, do well in school, earn some money, get some savings, they're very broad and vague goals. Whereas gaming is very specific, kill 20 enemies, free an island, complete the main game, finish the game on hard. It goes on, but the idea is that it's very, very specific. And that is great for us because it, it actually gives us some purpose, something to strive towards. And again, this does tie in with the reward system because when we complete these clear goals, we get a sense of accomplishment and we feel great about it and we feel proud of what we've done, which is why so many people platinum the Dark Souls games because they're, they're difficult and with a higher challenge comes a greater reward. Once we earn the Platinum Trophy, the purpose is kind of gone for us, which is, which is a shame, but it's kind of, you know, you get ready to move on to the next project. It sounds like I'm saying that earning the Platinum and earning the trophies isn't fun. I don't think that at all. I think it's more of, a, of an engaged type of fun. So, for example, where you're working towards something, you know, you may Maybe it's not always fun but you're, you're heavily involved you're heavily concentrating the best example I can give is kind of like is building a Lego set if you've got yourself a Lego Millennium Falcon and you've got to build it you're gonna have a lot of fun I would have a lot of fun building this this big Millennium Falcon and I think that although it's a different kind of fun compared to something else because you know you've got to read the instructions you've got to look at everything it can be quite finicky but you know when you do it you feel a sense of achievement and you have fun doing it but it's more concentrated involved fun compared to something like you know watching your favorite comedy tv show for the 19th time the office that's more of a 
a relaxing kind of fun where you sort of sit back and you take it in without really paying too much attention to it but it's a more relaxing type of fun both are different types of entertainment both have their place but that's kind of how the separation happens in my opinion is because once you've sort of earned all the goals all the trophies in the in the game the kind of that purpose is totally gone which means all you've got left to do is just to play it on a more casual level and that's not for everybody. I, I personally I always want to be working towards something so that's kind of why when I finish a game I'm ready to move on to the next game. Which leads me on to my final take of the uh, video which is do I still play games personally once I've earned the Platinum Trophy? 95% of the time I'm going to say no. Once I've finished the game, you know as someone who's an adult who doesn't have loads of time in the entire world, if I had loads of free time, I probably would play them more but because I don't. I'm always ready to move on to the next project, to move on to something else I'm going to be proud of being another Platinum Trophy. However, there's a few games I do often turn back to. Firstly, Spider-Man 2018. I absolutely adore the free room in this game and I think I played Miles Morales quite recently which is again is an even perfected better web swinging version, quite relaxing, I enjoy it, I love the, the fast movement of the web swinging and I'm a massive Die Hard Spider-Man fan so I just love it. And secondly is football games so I, I don't play loads of FIFA or Pro Evolution Soccer anymore but I do play Pro Evolution Soccer every now and then and I had to go on and just do a career mode and just get lost in it for a couple of hours. I, don't do, I haven't done that for a while but definitely when I'm getting a bit stressed I don't want to work on a new game, I'll just put on a, a game like a football game and just sit back get involved in a, a career mode or something just have have a lot of casual fun and not worry about trophies because it's good not to always worry about the trophies i think it's found that balance so i know a lot of people out there don't finish every game which is probably the best way to game and i think that's because you know some, some games you really want to work really hard for and you want to aspire and you want to have that sense of purpose to work towards the platinum trophy and then other games maybe they don't gel with you or maybe you just want to take your foot off the gas and just have a more relaxing experience and i think that's probably the best way to do it in this sort of situation so on that I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know, do you play games after you've earned the Platinum Trophy? Why do you or why do you not? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd like to thank you very much again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.